Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back and thanks for joining me today. Um, you're probably wondering what this is. So as promised, um, in my last video I told you guys I would let you know how things went at my um, at the show I was in on the weekend. So we'll talk a bit about that. Um, it went very well. Um, Saturday was very, very busy. Um, I sold a lot of items on Saturday. Sunday was not as busy, but I still sold quite a bit of stuff. Um, I'd say uh, maybe half of the stuff I took, I sold. Um, a big hit was um, the magnets and also um, my coasters. Uh, those were a big hit. I sold a few canvases. I did not take any of my very big canvases. The biggest size I took um, was a 12 by 12. I sold a few of those. I sold a lot of my um, my rounds with the Shelly art um, technique on them. I didn't take big canvases. I did take some big rounds, my 20 inch rounds, and none of those sold, um, only because I think they were too expensive um, for the people who were walking through. Um, you know, it's a craft show, right? So there's all kinds of stuff. So everyone's buying all kinds of Christmas stuff, Christmas presents, all you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, I still have a lot of my big rounds. So that being said, I'm thinking of doing um, a live auction. Um, likely not this Sunday coming up. Uh, what day is it? Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday the 13th. The four No, today's Thursday the 14th. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what day it is. Um, so not this Sunday, but I'm thinking the next Sunday where I will auction off um, probably the rest of my coasters, some of my rounds, some of my smaller pieces. I'll do a video uh, and show you guys what's up for auction, but let me know in the comments below. Do you wanna see an auction? Do you want me to do a live auction where you guys have the opportunity to buy um, any of the pieces that were left over from the show this weekend? Okay, so speaking of the show, literally across from me in the booth, was this awesome lady by the name of Emily. She, she's such a cool lady. Um, so she, this is her business, and she sells pillows. Now, the fun thing about these pillows is you color on them. So I, you know, she was busy the entire weekend. Like, I don't think there was a minute at her booth where she was twiddling her thumbs. It was crazy. Um, so I'll show you guys um, what, she has to offer okay and these are actually pretty cool and it's not just for kids and I'll, and I'll tell you why so we're starting off with this little pouch now you can fill it with um, you know stuffing or you can use it as a pencil case or even a makeup bag right um, but you can do whatever you want with that and so she draws all these um, stencils herself, which is actually pretty cool. And then you get these really special markers um, that you color the stencil. Now, you know, it comes with all kinds of instructions, which you can read on the website, okay? Um, I'll link it in the description below. It's called, It's Okay, It's Art, right? And the reason why is because She's got different kinds of pillows. So here, let me open this one. This one is um, owl, oh, owl, you need is love, right? So this is clearly for um, a child, um, but then she's got some adult ones as well. So for example, this one says classy, but I swear a little. So I'm gonna save this one. I'm not gonna open it because I'm gonna give it to my daughter for Christmas. Um, so I won't open that one, but I will open this one. And I'll show you guys and what, so I think they're 18 by 18. Uh, here we go, this way. I'll move this, okay? So here you have it, all right? So it says classy, but I swear a little. Now, she's got all kinds, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna read some off because I took, I took a picture. Um, if you have children around, you might wanna have them do earmuffs and, and plug their ears. Um, I'll try not to swear, but some of the ones she has are Bah Humbug, Bite Me, Bombshell, Boss Lady, Calm Your T-I-T-S, Your Lady Boobies, <laughs> um, Classy But I Swear A Lot, Eat A Bag Of 
You know what? I wonder if I can, here, can you see that? I, I just feel better doing this <laughs> than actually reading them out loud. So there are some nice ones in there for little kids and then there's some really cool adult ones, okay? And I guess that's why the name of the company is pretty cool because it's called It's Okay, It's Art, right? So, you know, people don't need to get their panties in a knot or their knickers in a twist, but it's pretty cool. All right, um, go on the website and you can check it out. I think these are 25 and then the markers are 12, but if you buy the kit together, I think it's, 35 yeah all right and then um, they have she also sells the pillow insert um, but you might want to check the website because I don't know she ships all over the world these and these but I don't know if she ships these everywhere it'll say it on the website so just to be sure but I'll just show you real quick um, she had a sample um, at the booth where people could just walk by and and color on it and it was actually really cool. I think there was somebody coloring on one of these the entire time, right? So I'll just do like one really quick. So the markers have um, a fine tip or, yeah, let me see what side's which. Yeah, so really fine tip, okay? And then the, the thicker tip. And um, from what I read really briefly, if you throw them after you color it, you throw it in the dryer for, I don't know how long, but anyways, the heat in the dryer actually gets the marker and it sets it in there. Um, you know, she recommends you wait a couple of weeks before you actually wash it. But then after that, you can wash it as many times as you want and the colors won't bleed, the markers won't bleed. They're just permanent, right? So it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of instructions on how to um, color, how to avoid um, bleeding, you know, if not to, you know, make it bleed over to the other side, over the lines. Um, I haven't really read it all myself, but I thought I'd just show you guys really quick. It's actually fun. Um, I'm not doing a very good job though. Maybe I should have used the other side. Um, yeah, maybe this side was better. Yeah, the side was better. But anywho, um, it's pretty neat. And like I said, she was busy like crazy um, at the show. Um, but I thought this would be a great Christmas gift and a great idea um, for kids too, right? And for adults. Um, so anywho, that's one of the great things um, and one of the great people I met at the show this uh, past weekend. Now, I'll put her website below, and if anyone is interested, I do have a code where you can save 15% off, okay? So it's Canela15, and you can save 15% off the total, all right? Um, and again, I will link all that um, in the description below um, for you guys who want to take a look. But I thought I'd share because I'm all about, um, you know, helping locals, you know, supporting, you know, local people and these little, you know, moms who are trying to, you know, start their own little business and stuff, right? So I'm all for that. And I really like helping um, where I can. So where did I put, oh, there it is. All right, so uh, what else? Okay, so before I start, I wanted to say thank you to everybody um, who watched my Shelly art technique video. Um, it's uh, people have had some really, really nice things to say. Uh, and that's very, very nice. Um, so I'm going to do another one. A lot of people have been asking me to do um, a bigger other than the four by four inch tile. So I'm going to do that. Um, this is a nine inch um, MDF. I was going to do it in the last video, but you know, 54 minutes. I didn't want to make it any longer than it already was. So um, I cut it short or I didn't do the round. So these are my um, painter's pyramids. They're great for um, wood. You can get them on my Amazon shop. All right. They are perfect for holding up your pieces. All right. Now, if you want to know how I'm doing all of this 
and what the ratios are and what the mixes are and what paints I'm using, I'm not gonna go through that in this video. Go to video 131. I know it's an hour long, but if you wanna learn, you gotta watch the whole video, okay? Because there's so much important information in that video that if you skip it or fast forward, you're gonna miss parts and you're not gonna know what you're doing, okay? So, you know, and I'll, uh, let me address a few other things, okay? I, I know I probably, you know, you guys want to get right to the painting, but in my last video, I had a few people asking me a bunch of questions where the questions were literally in the video. So if they had watched the whole video, um, they would know the answer to those questions. I have no issue answering questions. Um, you know, if there's something I missed in the video or anything like that, I have no problem. But if you're going to ask me a question that the answer is clearly in the video, I'm sorry, but I don't have time to answer those questions. Okay. Cause I have like about 200 comments and I tried to do my best to answer to everybody. Um, so you got to watch the video. Okay. Um, another question I'm getting a lot of is, Hey, um, you know, your pillow paint, can I use this brand instead? And in a semi-gloss. I don't know, okay? I showed you guys what works for me, okay? Um, you can go out and buy it and try it. That's what I did. I don't remember what I bought in the past, but th the products I showed you in the video is what works for me. So please don't ask me, you know, does this brand of paint work as the pillow instead of the one you have? I don't know because I've never tried it and I'm not gonna go out and buy it to try it because I already have what works for me. Other people are saying, well, I don't live in Canada. I live in this country. Can you help me? No, I can't because I don't know what your country sells or what they have. And here's where I'm talking about this Facebook group, right? Um, I had someone say, you know, I live in so-and-so country. It's not a, you know, big, big country like the U.S. or something like that. But they're like, I don't know what to, what to buy or, you know, stuff like that. Well, here's the best part about the Facebook group. There are people in that group from all over the world, literally all over the world. You, you wouldn't believe where people are from. And all those people in that group have all that information for you. So if you're from China or from Italy or from France or the UK, Israel, anywhere, wherever you're from, I'm telling you, there's some people, you will find someone in that Facebook group that has tried the method and has the products that work for you. So that's why taking the course is important because you also get into that Facebook group, okay? So I can't help you any other way as, except for what I know and what I have, okay? So I'm gonna get started and as I'm going, um, I, there's a few other things I wanna talk about as well. Um, so again, if you wanna know what I'm doing, check out my previous video which is video number 131, okay? So if you wanna know what I'm pouring here, check out the previous video, okay? So this is my pillow base. I just poured a bunch and I'm going to tilt it all the way around because I want it to get fully covered. So while I'm doing that, I want to say a huge thank you um, to the following people, um, Monique, Diane, and Teresa. Um, thank you. You ladies are absolutely lovely for sending me um, PayPal donations. Um, your donation is very much appreciated and it's going to help me buy supplies to do more of this fun stuff. So thank you ladies very, very much for that. Um, all right. I'm just going to put a little more here. Okay. A lot of people have been asking me where are Juno's videos because you all know I used to post them at the end of my videos and you guys used to see Juno. For those of you who don't know, Juno has had his own YouTube channel for about six months now, okay? So instead of me uploading videos to my art page, um, head on over to his YouTube channel, okay, and check out his videos there and I would just love it if you guys would subscribe to that channel as well. Um, because I just love it when people get to see my doggy. So I'll put that link of his YouTube channel in the description below as well, okay? And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell, all right? Okay, so 
colors I'm going to use, look how dirty my cups are, see? Um, I ordered these teeny tiny squeeze bottles off Amazon and they are arriving tomorrow. So they're smaller than these, kind of. Look how dirty that is. Have you ever seen my paint bottles this dirty? Probably not. But with this technique, everything gets dirty, okay? So I have neon pink here, all right? And then this one is, I believe, Prism Violet by Artist Loft. And this is Artist Loft. And then I have Dioxazine Purple by uh, Liquitex Basics. Again, if you wanna know how I mix these and what I put in it, check out the previous video, all right? Now, my cell activator is white, but in this case, I did uh, a blue, a phthalo blue cell activator. Again, so check out the previous video and see how I made the cell activator. The only difference between this and the white is instead of using one tablespoon of titanium white paint, I used one tablespoon of phthalo blue, okay? That's the only difference. The white ink is the same, um, you know, the wood conditioner, the glue, everything else is the same. The only thing I changed is I used blue paint instead of white paint, okay? And you'll see what, you can choose any color you want, blue, purple, you can make any color cell activator. You can do black if you want too, right? So I'm going to pour a puddle in the middle. All right, and I'm going to start with um, dioxazine purple. Now, because this is a big round, you kind of want to put a lot of paint um, in the middle. Now, this is actually kind of thick. I should have probably watered it down with some of my um, polyacrylic, but um, I didn't do that. But that's okay. I'll see if I can make this work for now. So, lots of purple. It should be a little thinner than this. This is really thick. All right, and then we will do the prism violet. This one's better, it's not a stick. All right. All right, okay, another thing I wanna, I wanna mention really quick. I've had um, a lot of people who have been um, friending me on Facebook. I love you guys all, really I do, um, but you're friending me on my personal Facebook page um, so please don't take offense when I decline your invitation. Um, you know, I have an art page and then I have a personal page with my family, my kids, you know, my parents and, and all that stuff. There are things I like to keep private, although, you know, you do know a lot about me because I talk a lot about, you know, myself and my family, and, you know, whatever. But there's a lot of private stuff on my Facebook page that I don't need the whole world knowing. So please don't take offense when I delete your request to be my friend on Facebook. Please join my Facebook art group, my page, not my personal page, okay? Um, it's Canela Siraco Art, that's my art page. If you friended me on Canela Curameno Siraco, that's my personal page, and unfortunately I'm gonna have to decline your request, all right? Okay, blue cell activator, all right? right there in the middle. And let's see how this is going to turn out. Oh, I got some gunk in my paint. All right. Okay. Let's see if I can blow this. Actually, you know what? I think last time I brought you guys down closer. So let me do that. I think that's better for you guys. There we go. Better? Yeah? Okay. Woo! <laughs> I heard you guys. I can hear you guys, right? All right. So what you want to do is blow from the top and then hopefully you're blowing properly because it's going to expand th like that, right? So let me do, I'm like really leaning over the table here because I really want you guys to kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay. So I blew one petal. All right, so if you don't have very good lungs, you might wanna use a straw. Um, 
you know, it's, it's not the easiest thing to do, but it's pretty cool. So then you got to give it a minute for the paint to pool back into the center because I did just blow it out, right? So we'll give that a quick minute. All right, and then, like I said in my previous video, I'll find, you know, maybe I'll start stretching this way. So now these are round, right? So there's, you know, there's no edges here. So you can kind of leave negative space if you want. You can pour the whole thing off. So I went that way. Now, I think I'm gonna leave some negative space. Usually I cover them fully, but see the problem with me lowering the video, the camera now, is I have to be over here. All right, so now let's stretch it this way. At least I can see in the camera where it's going. All right, so there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it back to the center. So let me just turn it around so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so bring it back, oh, back to the center. All right, now I'm just gonna pick one side and go one way. So, whoa, slippery. <laughs> we'll go this way. All right. They're, they are slippery to hold. Um, normally I'll use like my fingernail, like right here, my middle finger. I, I'm actually holding it with my fingernail. Um, I actually am really digging the negative space here. So I'm not even going to go further down that way. And now I'm going to go this way. Oh gosh, my gloves. Wear gloves, guys. I'm telling you, do not do this with bare hands. Um, it is the messiest technique I've ever done since I started painting. Um, but I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so let's move it down this way. Have it go down the edge. And then I think I'm gonna be done with it. I think I like it the way it is. Come on. So slippery. All right. Okay, I think that's good. Yep, see, look at the side, that's really cool. So now I'm just gonna tilt it back so that I can bring it back into the center. Cause I want my blue, you know, cell activator where I started. I wanted it to be. In, I want it to be in the center. So let me bring it back. Let me see. I can't see. It's slowly but surely moving. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So there you have it. And then I'll literally just dab the sides if there's any parts that are missed. So let me see here. So like you see that right there. So you can literally just take your finger and just slightly dab it and then it brings it down. You see what happened right there? It just brings the whole design down with it. So let me see, are there here? Well, there's no paint on this side, but you can see. So I'll just take some white and just a little dab with your finger and that will all level out as it's uh, pulling down and drying. So I'll just add right there. And that is it. So there it is, guys, but with a blue cell activator. Now, again, you can use, you know, purple cell activator, black cell activator, gold, copper, whatever you want. I personally, you know much I love my blues, right? So there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys want to see more of this technique? Uh, maybe you want to see me try it on a bigger canvas because you can do it on a canvas. Uh, I've never tried it, but hey, if you guys want to see it, I'll be more than happy to try it. Um, so I can definitely do that. Um, or, or do you want to see more Dutch pours? Um, you know, I am thinking about trying some new techniques. Um, look at my hands. See, this is why you have to wear gloves. Man, I'm really liking this. This turned out really cool. I like it. So yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think about this. Um, don't forget to check out my social media links below. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, and my Amazon shops. So if you wanna buy the materials I use, that is all listed in the Amazon shops as well. Okay, and uh, PayPal link. For anyone who would like to donate, I would really appreciate it. Um, every little bit helps, you have no idea. So thank you for that. 
And I guess that's it. Go ahead on over to YouTube, uh, sorry, Juno's YouTube channel. Um, and I will also put down the information for the It's Okay, It's Art. So if anyone wants any pillows for Christmas, now would be the time to pick one up. Did I miss anything? I don't know. I can't think right now. But um, that's it. So if you want to know all the info, check out the previous video, video number 131. Let me know if you guys want to see an auction. Uh, okay, if you want me to do an auction with my leftover art pieces from the show this weekend. Uh, and that's it. I will be back with another video. I don't know if it'll be another Shelly technique or back to a Dutch pour or who knows, maybe something else. So I'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Have a good night or a good day. Take care, guys. Bye.